My name's Russ Cook and I'm attempting to become the first person ever to run the entire length of Africa. This is where I started, this is where I'm heading and this is where I am now. I've run 8,305 kilometres so far and I've got 8,295 left to go. So far on the mission. I've survived alone in the desert, pissed blood, been robbed at gunpoint, thought I was going to be killed in the jungle, had my support van smashed to bits and raised £90,000 for charity. In this episode, Gus shows off his dance moves, James tries sugar cane, I get disappointed by a donut and we turn to the help of professionals to discover where my pain is coming from. Is there any tarmac getting smashed today? Yeah, I'm gonna go out, give it a little go. I think the plan is give it a little tickle, see how it is and try and give up a couple of chiropractors a bell or back specialists and just see what they say. We were going to try and go and see a back specialist in the next town, but I belled him up and he didn't answer and I messaged him and he didn't reply. So right. don't really think that's an option. If it's the same as yesterday, it was quite painful just to walk. So it doesn't really make sense to try and run. Nothing's really changed apart from sleep. I'll just give a bit of walking a go, see how it is. And then if it feels good after an hour, then I might start running. After speaking with a few physios yesterday, I was advised to stretch with caution. If my reoccurring back pain were to be caused from a herniated disc, not only would it likely be mission over, it could cause more harm than good. I performed exercises that would engage my glutes and hips without inflicting potentially more damage. Is it still a bang bang when you're walking? Or like a little... Like a little... Can't quite get the bang. Right, I'll see you in a bit, mate. Yeah. Ferocious stomping, regardless of how I felt, had gotten me this far, but this time was different. To avoid potentially paralysing myself, I began to walk with the intention of listening to my body. As I was slowly progressing on road, Gus and James took the opportunity to sample some local sugar cane. Out of anything I've wanted to try since getting to Nigeria, this is the number one thing I wanted to try. So here, Gus, we have some sugar cane, am I right? Do you just bite straight into it? Normally, they don't pre-cut it, but this one, it's the first time I see it in my life. They put a lot of cuts everywhere in it, so it will make it a lot easier to bite it. Often it's also with the peel on top, this one is already peeled. But yeah, you bite straight into it, but normally, it's very important how you bite in it, because it will snap your teeth <laughs> if you don't do it right. <laughs> No pressure. That is so sweet and juicy as well. Is it supposed to be that chewy or is that just the outside? It's pretty chewy. This one is actually, they already peeled the chewy part for you. How much did you think it cost? About a thousand naira. I spent 200 naira per piece and that's actually really expensive. With James and Gus scoffing themselves on sweet treats, it was my turn to have a gobble on something delectable after finishing my stomping for the day. Nice dish, to be fair. Hi girls and boys, just interrupting this video to say a big thank you because we've managed to raise over 90,000 quid for charity so far, which is an incredible effort. Round of applause, round of applause everyone. Big thank you for all the support in managing to raise so much money, although I think we can do better. What do you reckon boys? We can definitely do better. We can do better! Our friends at Perfect Head, they agree. So what they've said to me is they said, look Russ, here's a six month supply of Perfect Head. We're gonna give it away to someone who donates to the charity fundraiser in the next four days or so. Big thank you for all the support. Go and get yourself a six month supply of the best energy drink on the market later. Seize <laughs> and seize. Oh, we've got it. James, how does it feel to be the mechanic of the team? I am highly unqualified, but I take my opportunity. So you think when you come in on Project Africa, you're being employed as a specialist and you soon realise that you're a generalist very quickly. I'm changing the light bulb on the back of Nelly amongst other things. I've been doing the shelving unit yesterday, giving her a bit of TLC, which is much needed. She's been neglected for way too long and now we're nurturing her, getting her back to 10 out of 10 status. Yes, sir. And it works. Hallelujah. How are you on this fine morning, Russ Cook? All right, mate. I didn't really sleep very well last night. Leg yeah. was f***ing twinging a bit, just jarring. I'm going to bang on 40, I reckon. I know, my leg, I feel like my legs get worse, so... With the pain in my back refusing to vanish into the Nigerian breeze, it was more walking for me today. Fueled on pizza and donuts last night, this morning I was full to the gills on Huel. 
Another 40K was on today's hit list and I set out with the intention of delivering its carcass to the boss before dark. 21K in and I was dealt a splendid mid-morning pick-me-up from the lads at my first stop. My legs have died like buckling and shit. No, I've been like walking, like, I've nearly fallen over and that. Oh, yeah, mate, I don't even know really what's happening. Like, I would just be walking on, and like, just completely misstep and like, knees were. You'll be touching a nerve of some kind. Yeah, yeah, and it'll just like spasm and yeah. that sort of thing. Spasm's becoming more intense by the step, but initial got done by result of complaining. Head down, one foot in front of the other, repeat. Truth be told, it was a grind and one that I felt didn't serve me to grind any further. So I called the lads to come put me out of my misery. What are we doing, James? We are going to pick Russ up because he's struggling today. With a load of back pain, so we're taking Nelly to go and pick him up. It's slightly worrying, I think, that like it, it's only 2k away. He's only 2k away from the hotel, and he's not able to finish that 2k. Yeah, like Russ so Cook and 2k. That's not a lot of mileage, is it, really? No. Not so if Russ Cook can't do 2k, then yeah, it's not a good sign. I'm, I'm concerned about him carrying on like this. I'm worried he's going to do some permanent damage and back pain may seem like a small thing, but if it isn't dealt with properly, then it could genuinely be a trip ender. I arrived safe and sound at a hotel for the night and was in no mood for chit chat. The following morning, however... Favourite cereal as a kid? I loved a bit of Frosties. Wow. Well, Finally, what a good night's sleep can do. How are you feeling to get another run back on rather than waddling? Yeah, I don't like I don't like that whole walk. Yeah, I'm gonna bang it. See how it goes. I'll see you in 20, but I'll give you an update to let you know kind of how long I'm probably gonna take. 20k, yeah. Yeah. All right, mate. Best of luck. Bang bang. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me and I'm feeling pretty shit, to be honest. Nevertheless, the road was scheduled to get stomped over. That being said, I parked up a little bit before my break. What have you got on in the headphones? I'm still vibing a lot with the Frankie Stewart and Harvey Gunn album. No way. Mixing it up, what, what have I got on um, right now? Bit of Cold War Kids. Green Onions, mate, what a tune this is. Oh, oh it's good band, man. I'm thinking it's got to be year five. T90s on the feet. Yeah, T90s. Did you what ever mess with like K Swiss? Nah, I wasn't really into fashion like that. You know, I was more of a like business like operator. Like I wanted oh. Astros on feet at all times because I was out there playing ball. Yeah, looking like you're on the way to the Hacienda. <laughs> Nigerian tarmac at three Hacienda at seven. Feeling re-energised on perfect Ted and naughty toe tappers, I link back up with the open road to inflict some more catastrophic beatdowns on it before sunset. Meanwhile, Stan and Jamie began to set up camp a few hundred metres from the road when me and the others rejoined them. So what's the back doing? Is she singing again? We got the opera going on tonight, boy. Tomorrow running 70k. Won't rule it out just yet. I think that's the sort of energy you need, you know what I mean? This kind of mentality you're starting to get yourself in is a little bit... It's not acceptable, is it? No, it's not. And I think you've got to look around you and just know that no other lad here would be doing these little peck mileage that you're doing. Just alpha mentality everywhere. Hmm. Who's the most alpha here? So you got Stan there, you got Gus. I think Gus is probably the bait of the group. Yeah, Gus is obviously the bait of Stan. It's probably about 17 bottles of caffeine deep. That's pretty hard, isn't it? Yeah. It's also got two screens in the car, which is a, everyone knows that is really alpha. <laughs> Pan over to Jamie's setup. He's got a ladder as a table, which just like gives you at least an extra 5% on the alpha set. <laughs> Although he has ruined it by putting a cushion on his seat. Look, have a seat, sit down, and have a look at the clearance. It's all about maximum efficiency here. I learned from the best. Now try and reach the keyboard. Yeah. Look how much yeah. alpha that is, though. <laughs> a small man sat very <laughs> Can you show us how you would edit one of these? I wouldn't need a laptop, I'd just do it on my phone. <laughs> Do you ever wonder why you're here, Jamie? <laughs> slim filter? Come on. An Come alpha on. would have a proper filter, not a slim one, you know what I mean? <laughs>
<laughs> you got to pick that up, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah good. <laughs> I was just doing a, I was doing a bit for you two. I started the day feeling optimistic. A great night's kip under my belt with the opportunity of a fresh start. However, the pain soon crept back up to haunt me. My steady jog soon became a brisk walk. Losing feeling in my legs was starting to worry me. I'm all for pushing past discomfort, but I was taking a huge risk here. So how's it going today? My back's just getting worse, man. I don't really know what to do about it. I might have to take a rest at some point. Start the day with optimism, do you know what I mean? I got about 5k and I was like, that's not good. When did you start? When did you start? I think I stopped running and maybe 7 or 8k in. And it's just it's just man. The whole thing's seizing up. Oh, mate, that was a pathetic amount of jelly. All the entire jelly in one bite. I'm starting to get trust issues against the humans. <laughs> starting to get trust issues. Like, they keep on asking me, like, at the checkpoints, like, why why do you think we're, we're corrupt? Why do you think we're trying to scam you? Because the f donuts. Five minute jam in your donuts, mate. It's just a joke. Oh, mate, why does this always happen to me? I start pouring the water and then I have a dying urge to piss. Still fuming about the lack of jam in my supposed jam donut, I used it as steam to power my dreams of officially completing road. I went back out there for a bit of power walking as running was off the cars at this point. Meanwhile, Stan and Jamie were having some more issues with our beloved Nelly. This is carnage. It really is. This is some of, some of the worst roads I've seen, and it's surrounding a major city. I'm really worried about us getting stuck on this next bit as well. Like in the mud. It's not great. <laughs> Once again, they fing made it. Russ, you might get copyrighted for using. Yeah, boss down here. But you look like you're ready for the dance, man. It's Saturday night, boys. Getting a little bit live, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Man's a bit f so. Let us do dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Back to full form. Nah, not quite. Not quite. We're nearly there. A couple of days, I reckon. Not quite. Nah, it's getting worse. That I can't lie. Need to try and figure out a way to get this situation resolved, but it's just. Quite a bad one to be fair. Thing is, if we can resolve this in with three days of rest and some treatment, some massages or whatever it needs to be, then long run, you, you're already saving time. Because even if you did like another two weeks of 40s, that count, that 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 would basically yeah. add up to three, four rest days, you know? Yeah. Mate, we might need to go and get this thing scanned before it's been four, five days. Maybe I'll just have a rest day tomorrow and see. If it's not any better again, then maybe I will have to get it scanned. The following day, the pain and numbness wasn't any better, so I reluctantly decided to take a rest day or two with the intention of seeing a specialist here in Nigeria, ASAP. Russell Cook, what are we doing this morning? We are going to see if we can get some kind of scan, maybe a x-ray or an MRI, some of these, something like this, but I'm not sure. What's worse going to be, but my back actually feels worse today than did yesterday, so that's not good. I'm not a doctor, and you are not a doctor either, Gus, so we're going to go and find out from someone that actually knows what they're talking about. That you need to take a rest. Probably. We had a short drive through Benin City to see what a trained professional had to say about this injury. We were visiting a radiologist to hopefully get a diagnosis on what the pain and numbness is being caused by and most importantly how severe this could be. I was hoping and praying that the sensitivity was by proxy of muscle tightness. If it was anything skeletal I was in big trouble. Kind of need a lock so I'm thinking I wonder if that will show up on the x-ray. <laughs> Yes, sir. So when are you going to draft that out? I think you do. I don't know what way I'm going to turn. This way. That is correct. 
Very nice. What a package. It's spine. Yeah. It just looks like a normal spine. Yeah. yeah. So we just went uh, in pharmacist, got a load of naproxen and um, some other drugs. What are those for people who don't know drugs? Relax. Relax. Thank you, James. Ones to sleep as well. So we'll just take some more drugs and then I think, I don't know, I'll try and run tomorrow, I guess. What do you think, Gus? You normally have some sense. Think, take more uh, painkillers. Talk less about your feelings and just smash it. Yeah, cool. There you go. Yep. If you're going to give us the line, give us the official line. F you. <laughs> F your feelings. You're f <laughs> dickhead. <laughs> It just sounds there so much better coming from Gus. There we go. It's like, when he says it, it's like he really means it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's because he does. Yeah. Cool. Looks pretty good, I think. That's really good news. It's good to know as well that, like, you can't do as much damage as we thought you might be able to. Yeah. Got some cream as well, it's all the same shit. It's just like, I'd be hoping gel there. Janap gel. Janap. Speak. Lovely. All right, well, we'll see how we go. Cool, my back is on fire. I think I've put a bit too much out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hell. <laughs> it does feel loose though. Thought it. That was easy. After all that. Fixed. Okay. See you in the morning then. Ah. Oh. Well, let, let's test. No, no, no. no. Let, let's, let's test, test the, the, the flexibility. Oh, yeah. Test the flexibility. Go on. Look at that. Oh, I'd, say, I'd say fixed.